Welcome to Jungit's Games, where today I'll be introducing you to Juicy Fruits. In this video, I'll be giving you a brief overview for the game, and you can learn more about it by watching my tutorial, where I teach all of the rules while the game is being played. You can find a link to the tutorial video in the description of this one. Now, Juicy Fruits is a 1-4 to four player game that takes between 20 and 50 minutes to play, and in it, players are going to be managing their island and the fruit they produce there. Now, you have these collection tokens, and you can move them in a direction as many spaces as you want, and then you gain fruit in the number equal to the spaces that you just moved. Now, after you gain your fruit, you can use those to supply the boats that are surrounding your island. And when you do this, those boats will leave, they will give you victory points, and most importantly, they will free up a spot on your island that you can then move your tokens into in order to make more fruit as you are taking your turns. Now, there are other ways to spend fruit in this game, and a big one involves bribing government officials in order to get your business ideas into play. Now, these are various tokens that you can place down onto your island, and they will potentially give you conditional ways to score more victory points, they might even give you new action possibilities, or they could just take up a large chunk of your island and give you some points in return. So as you can see, as you spend fruits to supply those boats, you will increase the amount of area on your island that you can move to gain fruit, and it will increase your area for putting these business tokens down, which will give you more points as well. Now at the start of each game, the players have to decide if they want to use an optional juice factory module. This gives players a third way that they can spend their fruit, they can use that fruit to move their tokens to the right down this factory, which will give them victory points and also give them ways to block certain spots so that their opponents don't get access to those points as well. Now, as the game goes on, players are going to have to be balancing their interests in supplying those boats to free up their space, as well as to go to the business board, because there is a set number of those tokens on the board. So if you get there earlier, you will have more options. And of course, if you focus on your island too much, or potentially the juice factory as well, then you might find yourself in a situation where the business tokens that are left over don't work out too well for you. So you have to focus on your island and also pay attention to what your opponents are doing in order to get in their way and take opportunities that they want. And of course, you also have to be puzzling out how you are going to get the fruit that you need. You might need to think multiple turns ahead as you move one token so that it gets out of the way of another token to slide over and get the specific fruit that's going to work out for your plan. And you have to juggle all of these things at the same time. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I have made a tutorial video where I teach all of the rules while the game is being played. And if I have piqued your interest, then I do hope you would check that out. There is a link to it in the description of this video.